Hey everyone, Ed here with Davis Pickleball. Today I'm going to explain and unravel topspin. So if you don't come from tennis, this might be a newer concept for you. So I'm gonna explain this in very basic terms that will help anyone understand. So topspin is when you have this spin going on the ball, which when you're playing a game, because of this spin, that ball is going to arc and dive down. Now that's super helpful in pickleball because when you're hitting your serves or your drives, you don't want the ball just to keep flying and fly out of the court. Pickleball courts are much smaller. You want to have a nice shape to the ball and Topspin helps bring that ball down into the court. So this is a Topspin trainer by Topspin Pro and I'm gonna use this to demonstrate what Topspin looks like. So when you wanna hit Topspin, you want your paddle to be under the ball here because if your paddle is up here, your paddle's facing your paddle tip is facing up, you can't really get topspin. All you're just gonna do is just hit the ball like that. Now we want to dip that paddle down about 45 degrees angle, okay? So here is my starting position, and as I'm coming forward, I'm also coming upwards about 45 degrees. So it looks like that. Everyone see that ball spinning there? So that's how we do topspin is 45 degrees down. I'm coming through and I'm wiping it forward. Now a lot of people have kind of an, uh, made analogies to this as brushing the ball, brushing the back against the ball. And what they mean by that is as I'm brushing up against here, that's going to let the paddle, my grit, come up against that ball and kind of spin it for me. So let's do a couple of repetitions here. Okay. So everyone can see that ball spinning quite a bit. Now, you don't need to, if you're, when you're practicing on your Topspin Pro, you don't need to hit super hard. And a kind of common mistake that I see a lot is people are hitting too much forward. It's gonna pain me to do this because it's gonna ruin my paddle a little bit, but I'll show you what I mean. A lot of beginners that I teach Topspin, when they first train on this, this is what they're doing. All right, that sounded terrible. Everyone here, my paddle just clanking against that machine here. We don't want that. I'm just, I'm not adding topspin there. I'm just smacking the ball. We call that slapping the ball. We don't want that. So we want to come under the ball here, 45 degrees. Gently, gently. Do a slow-mo first. Everyone see, I'm going slow-mo, but that ball is spinning. Okay, as soon as you get that motion down, now we could introduce speed. And the only thing I am making contact with is my sweet spot of the paddle and the ball right against the back of that ball. Just like that. Now this is a super, super useful stroke to have because this is what your drives are gonna look like and this is what your serves are gonna look like. Imagine I had this ball in my hand and I was about to hit a serve, okay? Zero, zero, two. Okay, the better you get at the stroke, the more consistent your serves and your drives are gonna be. So this is something that I like to do at home. I'll just do this over and over again in my office just to really get that fine tuning down there. And as you get better, you can really just hit this as hard as you want as long as you're only hitting the ball, okay? That ball is gonna have higher speed going forward, but because I'm only hitting the ball here, I'm not actually gonna hit the machine. I'm not gonna ruin my paddle. It's just gonna be like hitting real serves, so. Okay, so that's the forehand side. Now you can train backhand side as well with this topspin trainer. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna shift it to the other side here. Now with topspin on the backhand side, it's a little bit interesting. Uh, because on our backhand side, if you're gonna do a single hand backspin, um, unless you have some tennis experience, this could be quite tricky to do because our arms don't really maneuver the same way as if we're coming to the center of our body. We're coming away from our body. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna actually teach you a two-handed uh, grip here. So we're gonna use two hands, and it's gonna be essentially that I'm hitting a forehand on my left-hand side. I'll show you what I mean here. So if I'm hitting on my backhand side here, I'm going to have my hand, my left hand, my non-dominant hand, choke up a little bit here, and then my right hand dominant is gonna come underneath here. 
So it looks something like this here. Now, the majority of my power is actually gonna come from my left hand side. So I'm gonna practice this only with my left hand first. So here, I'm essentially gonna practice what I've been doing on my forehand side with my left hand, and I'm basically gonna to try to hit a forehand topspin. It's gonna to feel awkward because we're not used to hitting with our left hand, but now as soon as we add in our dominant hand here, this is gonna help stabilize everything, okay? So this is, this is a great shot to have because a lot of times, in fact, maybe 50% of the times, balls will come to our non-dominant side. And one option we have is to run to our forehand side, but the other is to learn how to hit a two-handed backhand, okay? Tennis players, this is gonna feel very, very natural to you. Non-tennis players, you really have to learn this for the first time, okay? and that's what I had to do. Okay, but same principle applies. I'm dipping my paddle 45 degrees down, okay, and I'm coming up, coming up, brushing the back of the ball, and I'm spinning it forward, and I'm making sure that I'm following through the ball, okay? Let's talk about follow through for a second here. Now, when I'm hitting a serve or I'm hitting a drive, what you'll notice will happen is, as I'm hitting it, I'm not stopping on the contact point. I see this happen all the time when I'm teaching my beginner students is when they hit the ball, they'll stop moving their paddle. So it looks something like this. They stop here. They'll stop here and then their balls will stop right before the net and their balls aren't getting depth. So what you wanna do is you wanna follow through your stroke. Notice where my paddle ends, okay? Here we go. Everyone see where my paddle is? It's almost like I'm itching my back over here. There. So my follow through is actually coming across and I'm letting it flow, ending up behind my other shoulder. It looks like this, like that, okay? So I'm not stopping here. I am following through and letting that travel its course. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Topspin. Highly recommend trying out this device if you haven't already. It's a super eye-opening experience to hit on this machine here. And it's not even a machine, it's actually quite an ingenious little device, very lightweight. If you are a coach, this is an absolute no-brainer. You must need this as a coach. As always, thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. I'll put all the links for you below and I'll see you guys in the next one.